Hello and welcome to the webinar. Today, let's talk product visualizer. I'm going to show you how to open a design file. Then we'll talk about product visualizer and we'll discuss uh, printing options. From the Wilcom Embroidery Studio workspace, at this point, uh, we're going to navigate to file and we're going to open up an existing design. We'll select that. It will open this design up on our screen now. At this point, uh, I want to access uh, the product visualizer in order to place a cap in the background here as this is a cap design. So we're going to navigate this icon is the product visualizer here and it explains toggle product visualizer docker display. Use it to edit current product in the design window. We'll left click. As soon as we left click here, our product visualizer opens up here on our workspace. At this point, we now need to choose what type product that we want to put in the background. So we're going to navigate here. We'll start with products here. And we'll choose all products here as that we're looking at right now. And but we want a specific product because this is going to stitch on a cap. Uh, we're going to scroll down our list here uh, and we're going to choose headwear. As I left click here under my products, I've got a list of caps here which are labeled specifically. And I'm just going to scroll down here for the cap type that I'm going to use for this particular design. And as we're scrolling down here, we will locate our product type. Headwear 3. As we select this on the screen, so now our product is in the background. Okay. And by this being in the background here, we could also maneuver this product as well. Now, the next stage here we'll go into is the settings tab. With the settings, the settings allows us to go in and we could scale the product by clicking on the upper down arrows like you see here and it's locked so if I choose apply at this point here it will modify that uh, size of our product. I'm going to undo this one. Now we also have what we call a smart tape. Now again here's our product visualizer. I would unlock this on the screen so it doesn't move. So I'll navigate up top here and choose a thumbtack and left click it. Now it's placed at uh, 6 o'clock, and now this is locked on the screen. If we want to go in and choose a marking, like a, a smart tape here, we can click on smart tape. And this basically will allow us to go in, and I can click this, and I can move this in like this. I can click and drag this on the inside, and whatever the width of this is going to be, I can actually go in and place this as the width, as a visualizer for me to see uh, how wide this is and actually where I can place this uh, on my garment here. As we scroll down our list, we have a color. The color allows us to go in and because it's one color image here on the screen, we can select the down arrow here and we can modify uh, the color of this design. Okay, if I want to make it a darker gray, I can choose gray 50%, and I'll have to apply that. And that will go in. It will change the color of our background. Okay, and next, as we scroll further down here, we have position. Position is for the actual garment in the background. Okay, we can click on the up arrows here. If, we, if I click here, navigate I can shift this over like this on my X coordinates here or we can click up or down here for the Y coordinates here this if I select this it places it back in the center again I can nudge it here by clicking the arrow here at 9 o'clock we're just going to take it over here this arrow here will take it over 3 o'clock of course this one will take it up to 12 and this one down to six o'clock. So here, if I need to go in 
and move this down a little bit like that, I can do this by clicking here or I can type the numbers in here manually. At this point, let's say that we have everything that we need. We have our design. And uh, the next step here, I want to actually save this. So again, I'm going to navigate here up to the top to file and we'll choose save as and we'll save this as our new that's design here with our background in it and I'm going to click save here. Yes, we want to override it. So we'll choose yes here. So now we've loaded the design. We've uh, gone into the product visualizer and we edited our properties of the design. The next stage here is to go in and to be able to print this design. So we're going to navigate here up to file. We're going to scroll down here to print preview. Once we click on the print preview, we do want to be able to send a uh, visual of this design to our customer. And so at this point here, in our approval sheet here, we have uh, the small image here of our cap design and we have the main image here on the screen. But this is not enough. Uh, we want to be able to go in and show the customer what that's going to look like on the cap as a visual. At this point here, we'll navigate here to options. And as we select options here, we'll get our print options here displayed on our screen. Now, we just want the customer to see the, the approval sheet here. And here for the approval sheet here, as I scroll across my list of drop menus here, I'll choose design and I want to see product. Okay. I don't want the customer to see anything else here. And as I click OK, now this is our first page here again. If I navigate up top here to the next page now, now it's actually showing a visualization of the product with the embroidery uh, stitched on top of it like this. And so this is what uh, we could now send to our customer. And at this point here, I'm just going to close this. Once I close this, I can now go back here and I can choose print. Now, once I choose print, uh, you're going to get your print design option on, this, on the screen here. And we want to print this as a PDF, not as our default printer. Okay, so we're going to use, as we scroll down, when you install your software, it also installs the Wilcom PDF Printer 9. As we left click, I'm going to choose OK like this. Now, we're going to choose where we're going to save this. So we're going to browse. As we scroll for our visualization, and we're going to save this as the PDF, which you save. And we're going to verify this by clicking OK. And at this point here, uh, we're going to get a print here of the PDF displayed. And this is the actual, and I'm going to, I want to display this here also at 100. Right now it's at 114. So I'll change this to 100. So as we scroll down our list, if we need to scale it down a little bit, we can scale it down. But this is the image here that we could send here to our customer that they can take a look at this and they can actually see what this looks like uh, on the cap. Okay. And this is how the product visualizer works inside the Embroidery Studio E4.5 software. And I want to thank you for attending. I hope you learned something. See you next time. For further questions on pricing and sales, please visit software sales at willcomeamerica.com or you can call us at 877-657-7500. Thank you very much.